pretty print harnessing up the pretty princess here getting ready to roll out on another dog adventure this is the wolf driver coming at you from the home base now putting on a special harness because princess sometimes ride in the seat and especially design seat that enables her to be secure remember on the trail after she's got her mileage in what she wants to ride how much she wants to do trotting wise and then what she wants to ride now with these she's a long-haired husky so her hair Wolf driver. is all over the place you might hear her yelp a little <laughs> if i grab a hair it's hard to hard to see what's what and she's not very patient but she is being patient now stay good girl now we got it so now this harness is nice too it's got a little handle built into it as you see so i can not that she won't come where i tell her to but for time reasons it's easier to just walk her over here Wolf driver. That's Princess just climbing these steps that are retractable. They come up to assist all the dogs. And this pillow goes there because she's a little nosy sometimes. The boys come through and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna check them out. Good boy, Chase. Good boy, Zaro. Good boy, Jack. Good boy, Jack. Good afternoon, folks. We are at the Hazelton Rail Trail in Hazelton, Pennsylvania. I'll give you some more information on that in a minute, but we saw this sign I thought was kind of cool. Wolf driver. And it's titled Black Bear. It says, a pine knee fell in the forest. The eagle saw it, the deer heard it, the bear smelled it. And that's an old Native American trail. Reading the sign, it says, Pennsylvania's largest mammal Ursus Americanus, the black bear, can be seen sauntering along the trail. Pennsylvania black bear habitat consists of mixed hardwood forests as well as swampy and boggy areas. These areas provide nuts, berries, leaves, grasses, insects, amphibians, reptiles, and small mammals, which make up most of their diet. Adults usually weigh around 200 pounds. Males, boars that is, often weigh twice as much as females, sows they call them. Some weigh up to 900 pounds. Despite their weight, black bears are agile. They can run up to 35 miles an hour, climb trees, and swim. Bears live in areas populated by humans, often visiting garbage cans, bird feeders, and backyard grills. While most bears will run from people, some that live in close proximity to humans can become habituate it. If, if you meet a bear, stay calm. Don't run or attempt to climb a tree. Get back. Back away slowly while facing the bear. Avoid eye contact. Give the bear room to escape. Alert the bear. Make some noise to alert Wolf the bear driver. of your presence. Pay attention. Some may stand upright or move close in and in effort to detect odors in the air. If it begins to approach you, face a bear, wave your arms and shout continue to back away fight back black bear attacks are extremely rare if a black bear attacks fight back so that's the advice from the pennsylvania sign here in the hazelton rail trail as you can see the wolf pack that's zorro looking out at us jimmy's waiting we're waiting for chris to come back because he took the scooter otherwise known as the wolf driver's rough board about a half mile up the trail to make sure that because that was the only gate Wolf we driver. understand on this trail and we want to know the width of it so we'll measure it to see which bike we need to use for today's adventure so a little bit about the trail i'm gonna walk over here you got a black bear right there it's not real though see i can pet it <laughs> does say the elevation 1720 feet above sea level but once again this is the hazelton and it's 0 0.9 miles to stockton road it looks like it's the next stop so 
just a sign here, Greater, Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails. Exercise stations and final finish surface was, looks like it was done in 2008. So that's where we're at right now, folks. Getting ready to, I believe this trail is five miles Wolf long. Driver. And uh, we are gonna do round trip. So that would make us have a 10 mile journey if all goes as planned. And this is a map of the area, it's a little small to show right now, just telling you about local events. So if you've been following me as I trip over the rock, <laughs> you'll know that uh, Princess, the oldest of the pack, almost 15 years old now, she likes to run actually with the cooler weather coming in and just really feeling good about herself. She likes to run with us and she's been doing about five or six miles a trip, which has been pretty impressive. Um, in the warmer weather, it takes so much exercise, so much energy out of the dogs. She'd be getting Wolf one to driver. two miles, but I still work them. When I say work them, I still run them, walk them, give them exercise in the warmer months, but I do it in ways that's safe for the dogs. So you can read about that on wolfdriver.com. I've developed the misting system, etc. Here's Chris back from the Recognizance, how did it go? 36. 36, ooh, that's gonna be the blue bike. Cause that's 34. Yeah. Well, you're gonna follow us, but this one is we'll gonna be a lot there. easier to navigate, don't you think? We don't know if there's more trails. Um, yeah, so looks like the trail's a little, we can make it through with the Wolfmobile, as you know it, but it looks like it's just a little wide, a little narrow, the gates, the bike's a little wide. This is our narrow, it has such a narrow footprint, the Mushmobile, the blue one you're looking at with the orange tires. So we're gonna use that one, it looks like. Um, but as I was saying, Jag's been a little, oh, Princess has been doing awesome. Um, Jag, you know, from, let me just check up on Jag, I'm gonna sneak surprise him. Hi, Jaggy, just checking up on you. Wolf driver. So, if you're familiar with me or with Wolf Driver, with my training system, I do get tame, it's called, you'll know that famous words that I've learned from a great mentor of mine is, Animals, dogs, etc., will surprise you every day. There's always a challenge, something to deal with. And we have that today where we have Jag, Jag, Chase, and Zaro. You're looking at Chase and Zaro right here. Hi, good boys. Are all roughly nine years old. Princess, again, she's about 15. And Jag's always been, when I first got him as a puppy, Princess, I um, kind of rescued at about four years old, she was. And now she's about 11 years later. But the boys, Chase Jaggers are I've had since they were puppies. So uh, anywhere from uh, four months or so I've had them. They were four months old. And Jag's always been very timid and unsure of himself. And it's kind of amazing that I've been able to get him Wolf to driver. do all the miles we've done, thousands of miles over the years, uh, doing it for nine years with him. And a little better probably. And that's been awesome. But now he's developed a little bit of a phobia, maybe you'll call it. We don't know if it's from the noise or the position of the bike. It's not his health. Um, he doesn't love running near the wheel anymore. He's been so great at it. Actually, dogs that are in the rear near a sled, they call them wheel dogs when you're running a sled. I call them wheel dogs because they're next to the wheels. <laughs> so I've got other instruments, other apparatuses, like you're looking at the rough board, where he's probably more comfortable on. He's run, this is how I taught him. So driver. these are all, by the way, electrified. They have electric. So I may, uh, we're gonna play with him today. We've got some different ways of attaching him and we're gonna try to see if the noise is bothering him, maybe the position on the bike, whatever, see what we can do to address that. But that's the challenge of what I call wolf driving and having active dogs when you get challenged with different situations and you work through them, but you don't let them frustrate you and you don't let them be a deterrence. You actually find a way around them to make the dog comfortable and happy and want to do this. And um, 
get all the joy you can because the exercise is so great. Wolf driver. So that's where we're at right now. AC boy. See the collars. And uh, well, I'm getting ready to outfit the bike right now. And we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. Okay, we're getting ready to harness the wolf pack up. And Jag has been having a good time trying to see what's going on. Watching me mess up with this harness. <laughs> okay, Jagster. I'll get it right. You're a good boy, Jaggy. Oh, hi, Jaggy. JC? Chris? You gonna be warm enough, buddy? I got extra stuff if you need, Chris. Wolf driver. Hey, did you put anything on the brakes just to quiet them down? Well, it's just making a lot of noise. That's what Jag. Oh, you tightened the wheel, but I don't know if that was making the noise. Oh, if you touch the brake, it's. It, yeah. It's, yeah. Or that one, I can't remember which one it was. Is it? Wolf driver. Beautiful. So what we're doing now is putting the harnesses on. Actually put Zara's on first. So these are, this is the Kong harness. I've mentioned it before. Come on Zara, good boy. Zara, good boy. Chase, yours is coming, sir. Yours is coming. Good boy, Chase. He likes to give him kisses. Good boy, Zara. Now what you want to do when you're working in tight territories here. Wolf driver. <laughs> dogs would see it. You just want to be careful not to cramp them because they can become territorial with each other. So if by accident I would actually push one into the other, he could take that as an aggressive move. It's easy chase, good boy. From the other dog. So we want to be real careful about that. These guys are good together and they wrestle a lot so it's not going to be too many problems there but if you are harnessing up different dogs that don't work together of course you would need to take precaution against that because dogs are territorial they'll fight over three things Wolf mainly driver. the opposite sex trying to court them food and territory easy buddy those are issues with them and especially huskies close to a wolf is close in the ancestry lines so that's why they're so hard to train very prey driven good boys what's up nothing hanging from you buddy boy okay look at jack jack says when are we going dad okay so when do you want to start the show jimmy this is tightened down, right, Jim? Wolf oh, no, it's not. Uh, can we, you got a wrench? Cool. Oh, no worries, no worries. So we're just doing basically in the truck world what they call a pre-trip. Checking to make sure everything's set up and ready to go. Turning the cameras on. Wolf driver. A couple different brands of cameras because of what we're doing. Um, I've become a little bit of a camera expert here. Now, I talked about earlier about Chase. We're trying him on a different design. I'm gonna put this in here. Just get my gloves out of my front pocket. 
pocket. Got a lot of pockets here. Uh, I know you can't see me on this camera. Wolf driver. But if the view changes, we should go to a shot of the other camera. <laughs> Never added in the video. Um, I'm wearing a hunter's vest. And that makes me visible, gives me pockets, and most importantly, because I've customized it, gives me, harnesses me for the dogs, so I can take them off leash in a, in a pinch if I need to. We ready for dogs, Jim? Ooh. Make sure we're straight here. Okay. Right. Easy, guys. Big boy. Chase. Wolf driver. Okay, Chase, it's okay, buddy. Chris B. Okay, JC. Now, this is the maiden voyage of these new this new system I developed for the dogs to be attached to the bike. And I'm sure it's gonna take some work but I'll go more into explanation. It's a pretty interesting system using readily available hardware through Amazon, Home Depot, that kind of place. Easy breaker. Wolf driver. Easy, easy. Good girl. She'll pull you over, Jimmy, careful. Stay, Jack, stay. Day, okay. Free day. That's good. Give her a chance to pee if she wants. Come on, Baggy. This jag's been a little apprehensive lately. Boy. Heh, he can't even go as far back as the that now. That's kind of cool. Wolf driver. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Good boy. Okay. Okay, should I move the bike? Sure. Oh, wow, so much better. There's a vest. You will. I can wait for you also because Jag already looks like he's hunching. Okay, sorry, Cliff. Thank you for telling me. I'm sorry. You got it, buddy. Wolf driver. Good, buddy. We ready? You ready? You stack normal. It's fine. Come on. He's fine. He'll be fine in the beginning. <laughs> uh oh, got this little hole I'm riding over. See it? Do you see the hole I'm riding over? Let me know if the dogs get near there. They're smart enough not to. But driver See how he runs? Let, let's let this lady go through. Um, I think he'll like chasing them. I think so, but we'll see. Maybe, yeah, but we'll see. He might not run. That might have to just put him in the seat. He might be. He he. I put I put him no. I put him in the. I put him in Chase's position, and he, that wheel. He looked at that wheel one go. Yep. Well, hopefully we'll see how this works. Hi, how are you? A husky. husky. Yep. Yeah, I know. They're unusual. They are. 
<laughs> that one too, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks, Chris. Watch it. Don't fall over. Okay. We're going to see how Jag runs with that. No, let, let him chase us. We'll see. We'll see. You ready? Wolf driver. So right now, folks, you see you can't get frustrated. Jag's been doing this for years. And for whatever reason, at this point in his life, it's not that he doesn't want to do it. It's that, because if you look at our videos from the past couple weeks, when we let him off, he goes fine. Um, it's something is spooking him. So what we Wolf do driver. is we try to figure out what it is. And we have all different apparatuses and I'm putting them on a different one and we're gonna give them different lengths of leash and find out what the story is. Well, I'm, we're gonna wait for him. Hike. I'm in my rear view. Come on, princess. That's why I put him back there. Is it okay? Wolf driver. Good boy, Jag. He's doing fine on that. None of the dogs are phased by it, but <laughs> good. Yeah, he is. Oh, come on, guys. Wolf driver. How's Jim? Good. How's the boy Oh, they like it. Just watch Chase. I don't want him to run into the wheel. Yep, good. The surface, yeah. Looking good, Chris. Which wheel on your bike? I Wolf driver. Are they? <laughs> well, he can't break it. It's weighted for like 800 pounds. Or so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're toe straps for motorcycles. Yeah. G, what is this, Jim? G, uh, might, might not be able to make this turn, believe it or not. I, I got to back up. Wolf driver. Are you going ahead of us? Okay. That's fine. You might be okay running ahead of us. He looks good on there.
you know, a rock could have came up. Let's I sprayed them once with the water on the bike trail. This is a nice trail here. Yeah, Look at this. Yeah. I like the sand in front of the rocky trail. Great trail. Thank you for telling me. We're uh, yeah, it's a little narrow here too, Jimmy. Wolf Driver. Wolf driver. Did he stop? I could put him in the bed, though. Wolf driver. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but you ain't gonna be able to walk the whole way. Yeah, it freaked them. Let, let's let these people go. Uh, he's gonna work with them. Go guys. You good, Jim? Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Okay, I'll put him in the bed. Uh, you follow us, though. I'll put him in the bed, but you can ride because when she tires out, I'll have to put. Uh, what am I gonna do when she tires out? Uh, what's that? What's that, Crispy? Yeah. <sighs> 
No, no, it's not going to work. You're right. Let me, you, you stay right there. Let me try riding right here, just to the bike. Hey, what? He needs to, he needs to, oh, you got good songs going on. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wolf driver. That's true. You want to ride that for a little bit? But you got to go slow because of her. They might, uh. Yep, they know. Wolf driver. And just like that, Jack don't want to run. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Meet us out there, buddy. I'll glimpse you when I can. Wolf driver. Can you see Jack going? Yep, perfectly. He all right? Yeah, he's fine. He don't move when you put him in there. He's. Wolf driver. What I'd like to do, Jim, get to the other end, put Princess and um, Jag away, and and come back real quick on. Uh, we can do it in a, we can do it in under hours. Yeah, them too. them too. So they get some real exercise. Doesn't get Jag anything, but Jag is Jag. I'll get him exercise when I take him to the farm. Did you look at this trail on the map? I did not. I didn't have time. Okay. No biggie. I was just 
curious if you knew what it did. Wolf driver. Nah, it's, don't worry. <laughs> Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
self driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. We made it, We want to made it with the other bike. That's why I said. Little bit of rough riding there, Jimmy. No, oh, sir. Wolf driver. Gosh. <laughs> you know, it really does take some maneuvering. About a mile in. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Think they like the new lines, Jim? And remember, you, you were worried about what they could hold. They could hold, it's rated for like six, eight hundred pounds. They're tie downs, basically. Tie downs for the front for a motorcycle. Yeah. But I got colored ones. Now, I don't know if we kept different lengths or not. It doesn't look like we did, so. It's actually a little longer. Because uh, I put it next to it when I made them. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, I... Yeah, it might help Jack hear in the noise. Yeah, might. Wolf driver. But I'm wondering, some really loud music, just for a little bit on the wheel near there, might, uh... I don't have anything here with me, but the stuff we use for ghost hunting would work. I, I could put music through there and boom. driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Thank you. 
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. How beautiful is this, bud? Four and a third, it says, Wolf Jim. driver. That's good. Yeah, man. She was excited we made some time there. Really? Oh, come on, guys. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Folks, we're still on the Hazelton Rail Trail. We got Princess behind Zaro, closest to Jim. She's the dog in the rear that's hooked up. We got Zaro. She's rubbing her chin. She's trying to get some loving from Jimmy. Got Zaro in front. Chase in front of nobody because Jagster's in the back. Jagster's got a phobia of this wheel lately, so he's on chill mode. We're stopped on a cool looking, some kind of covered bridge. Hopefully the sign will tell us a little bit about it. It says the Delaware, Susquehanna, and Schuylkill Railroad. A quote here. There are few, if any, parts of the country which have been the scene of more railroads than the first and second Pennsylvania anthractic fields, if I'm saying that right, or anthracite fields. And that was from Earl J. Haydinger. Little about this right now. The trail you are on was constructed on the right of way of the Delaware, Susquehanna, and Scogel Railroad, DS&S. The 
mile long railroad was built by Koch Brothers and Company coal firm in 1892 to connect their breakers at Drifton, Eckley, Beaver Meadows, Sheptel, and Fern Glen to the Lehigh Valley Railroad. This portion of the trail was known as the Shepton branch of the DSNS. That's a lot of words there. The DSNS had 13 freight locomotives and one passenger locomotive. The inner chain with the Lehigh Valley Railroad was just east of here at a place called Lumber Yard. You are standing where the bridge scales were located. Coal cars bound for New York Harbor were weighed here before being transferred to the Lehigh Valley Railroad. Ruins of the scale house are located 0.2 miles, a quarter of a mile south of, of this point. The Lehigh Valley Railroad purchased the DSNS, including the Cox Mines, in 1905. In 1918, this area just east of here became the Lehigh Valley's Ashmore Engine Whatever. Terminal. A roundhouse, locomotive shop, coaling tower, and ash pits were located there. It closed in the 1950s, and the area was later home to the Kawaki Burlco Industries Incorporated, now Cabot Corp. But that facility was closed and torn down in 1993. A couple pictures here. It shows the rail, railroad, uh, I guess the train, a Delaware, Susquehanna, and Schuylkill Camelback steam locomotive. This kind of engine was common on the anthracite railroads. This picture shows the roundhouse was the centerpiece of the Lehigh Valley Railroad's Ashmore engine terminal. Wolf driver. Finally, workers pose on the locomotive at the Ashmore engine terminal. And that's where we're at, folks, right now. We're about to go across the bridge, and I'm going to keep you with me. Yes. We're going the wrong way? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, how far? Uh, we'll, turn, we'll go across the bridge and turn around. That's all we can do. That's what I'm thinking. Wolf driver. Uh, just help me get across this railroad. We'll see it on the glimpse. Don't worry. Here we go. So okay. So. Into a quarry. But it said the trail. This is a rough trail, rough. I'm gonna try to fit through this. How are the dogs? Okay. Good. Wolf I'll turn around down here. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> you said you felt better, we were on the trail. <laughs> Uh, tell them we're going to turn around. And we'll do it right up here, Jim. Where do you think I should turn around, Jim? Could I turn around here? Okay. Wolf driver. What was that? No way, because that's the bridge. Someone's behind us on a bike. Yep, I'm gonna, well, we'll turn around here. G over, yep. Howdy. Thank you so much. Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. This is the kind of thing Princess hates to ride. You drive. So I'm trying to milk her along. Come on, good girl. Nope, come on. Pretty. Watch her, Jimmy. Is she? No, I think we could put Jag down. He'd be fine, and put her up in the. About that. Wolf driver. Stay where you're at, Jim. That's all you got to do, bud. Hold what you got. He's already back at all. He just had this like this. Wolf driver. Good girl. Jag's looking at her like, wait a minute, that's my seat. Nah. I think uh, we can. Nah, don't do it yet, Jim. If we need to. She's got to be strapped in here because. Yeah, you can. Wolf driver. Let's give him a little too much left, but we'll try. Well, let's see what happens. I don't think he's gonna do anything. Come on, Jack. Come on. Don't act like it's a big deal. Just come on, Jack. Come on. He's stopping. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. We let Jag loose for like, how long you think we let him loose for, Jim? <laughs> he charged the chase, wanted to play with him. <laughs> then he started running towards the deer. He listened to me though, stopped him. And then he was just like, crazy. He'd start running fast. He was keeping up with us though. Princess got better than five miles in. Only reason we took her off was really was so we could make some time. Wolf driver. We could, we should be able to do this trail in an hour with the, with Chase and Zorro. I'll put them in. I mean, you stay with the with the bike. Yep. Chase. He hears a dog in the distance. Chase, come on, pretty. Come on, pretty. Come on. Chase. Wolf driver. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on, Jackie. Jack here. Wolf driver. <laughs> 